This week on Hobie Outdoor Adventures, we continue our fishing trip in Magdalena Bay, Mexico. This week's fishing ground is the well-known reef of Mag Bay, the Thetis Bank. Starting around mid-November to the end of December of every year, massive amounts of yellowfin tuna, yellowtail, mahi-mahi, and wahoo pile up in this fishery. Oh, got one, got one, got one. A beautiful yellowtail on the Raider jig. Woo! Great fun and non-stop fishing action. It's the Hobie Mag Bay Adventure Series. And it starts right now. Nice one, dude. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that was a good fit. The Hobie Mag Bay Adventure Series has been incredible. Last week, we lost count of how many marlins we caught from Hobie kayaks. Oh! <laughs> Unreal! While we were fishing in the south entrance of the bay, we even had a pleasant surprise encounter. We noticed a few gray whales heading down our direction, and they were pretty far away, about 100 yards or so. And uh, we're sitting there, staring at the points, jigging away, and out of nowhere, those, those whales turn straight towards us. There they are. Woo oh, what? Oh my gosh, that's awesome! That is scary! I hope you got video of that. <laughs> that, was so cool. that was rad! And at that point in the day, my trip was made, you know? Uh, if I didn't catch a fish for the rest of the day, just having that experience, being so close to a gray whale, is exhilarating, especially when you're at that water level on a kayak. It was awesome to have him fluke right in front of the boat. That was a topper in itself. Oh, that, that was epic! <laughs> that was insane, huh? <laughs> Today, Morgan and his friends are ready for another well-known fishing spot in Mag Bay. We get in from Marlin fishing, and you know, we had to make a decision that, you know, what are we going to do the next day? And Doug Olander, you know, said, "Hey, why don't we go to the Thetis Bank? Could there be tuna? Could there be yellowtail? Could there be wahoo? Uh, the pelagic stuff." In order to get to the Thetis Bank, it's a really long boat ride. So talking to Toby, he had a plan. Instead of driving the extra 25 miles each way by water from the bay out to the Pacific Ocean, we're gonna put the pongas and kayaks on a trailer, take them across the island to a little bay right on the Pacific, and that's gonna get us out to the Thetis Bank, which is about 28 miles from our launch spot. We're adventuring, Mark. We are. We're fishing really shallow right now. <laughs> Zero feet. Perfecto. And immediately, the guys showed us where the high spot was. We marked that spot on our Lorances, and we got in the water, started jigging around. It's nice, we got four kayakers on the water, Doug, Rob, Mark, and myself. We all have Lorance fish finders, so we're working as a team to try to figure this area out. See those hits? Got him. Feels like a tuna. It's a tuna. Finally got one. These are really pretty fish. That's a little skipjack tuna. That's a really good sign. If we uh, are catching these, we have a chance of yellowfin tuna, wahoo, anything like that. Send him on his way. 
I was sitting there jigging and I saw something chase some bait. And I go, okay, I have no idea what that is. And then all of a sudden I look down underneath me and there's hundreds of tuna swimming around underneath me. So I reach back, I grab my popping rod and I cast my popper out and two twitches, bam. Oh! <laughs> Super fun fish. Oh, it's a yellowfin. It's a yellowfin tuna. Woohoo! Yellowfin tuna on the popper. Mag Bay. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful fish? Inhale the popper. We start jigging. It's a little tough. We're trying to figure out. We're looking at our fish finders. We see the high spot. Then we start throwing some poppers. There's some stuff on the meter, you know. We don't know what it is. Oh, I just got boiled on. Uh, they're all over here, dude. It's just a uh, skipjack, but man, they're fun. Coming up, we're not oh, the no, only no, no, no. ones here looking for fish. No. Find out who the opportunists who try to steal our catches are. Hobie Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by Daiwa, advancing the sport of fishing. Power Pole Micro Anchor, swift, silent, secure, and small. Aftco, American fishing tackle company. And by St. Croix Rod, best rod on earth. Let's take a look at the kayak I'll be fishing from here in Magdalena Bay, the Hobie Mirage Passport 12. One of my favorites because I feel like it's the perfect length. It's nice and wide and stable. It has a really comfortable, breathable seat. And it just has tons of features that make it super friendly for fishing. There's tracks on the side, so you can add things like Railblazer accessories. I have my GoPros and a rod holder on Railblazer accessories. I also have a Lowrance fish finder that'll allow me to see what's underneath me in the water. I've upgraded to the Mirage Drive 180 with turbo kick-up fins. So if I pull the Mirage Drive 180 out, this is what gives you your propulsion is the fins going side to side and it's got forward and reverse. So if I pull this lever, you're going in reverse. It also has kick-up fins. So if I contact an object under the water, they're gonna break away and go right back into position as you're pedaling forward. You can see that it's also very adjustable for users of different sizes, depending on how tall you are. So I can push in one of these levers on the cranks and move them forward or backwards so that they feel perfectly and fit just right. Some other features that I really love about this boat are the wide cockpit. I've actually upgraded the center hatch to a rectangular hatch so I have more space for accessories. And then I have an H crate in the cargo area where I'll be storing all of my tackle and holding my rods. So I just can't wait to get out here on the water in Mag Bay and try to catch something big on the Hobie Mirage Passport 12. Welcome back to Hobie Outdoor Adventures. We're kayak fishing in Magdalena Bay, Baja California Sur, Mexico. Baja California Sur is home to one of the most extraordinary marine ecosystems in the world, commonly referred to as the world's aquarium which holds over 5,000 different aquatic animal species. That's a Timon, I guess. According to our captain, I knew we were gonna catch some really cool species out here. Gonna keep this one for dinner. Really, really pretty fish. I got a white fish. I call it Blanco Pescar. Ironically, the high spot on Thetis Bank, which came up to 80 feet, didn't have much, but when we dropped jigs down around 120 to 200 feet, uh, we started catching other things. I got a nice Pacific Red Snapper, just beautiful fish. And I know there were other species caught, I can't even remember them all. So it was, it was a great day. It was, it was pretty sporty out there. The, uh, the waves were, you know, had a fair swell and a pretty heavy chop but it just kind of added to the experience and in, in some ways it's almost almost gratifying to be out there in a kayak and being able to to do that to catch fish out there in those conditions all right doug got a nice yellowfin i did too nice one doug double on yellowfin tuna we're gonna eat some sashimi tonight man sea lion two of them on me right now i'm hoping he's, we're playing tug of war he's a friendly one Oh, there he goes. It broke. 
The only thing I did luck out as, I got my popper back. Got him. There he is. I hope he doesn't try to come eat my fish. Oh, is he beelining for it? No! Uh-oh. No, Seal. He's running away for his life. Trying to just horse this thing in because of the sea line. And then he sees it and goes nuts. They're beautifully colored, that blue on him. I'm not sure. The last one was definitely yellow fin, but the sea lions got it. But this one's kind of feeling like a like a skipjack. That's a big skipjack. It is a big one. Woo, look at that skipjack. Wow. That's a monster. Oh, it's a yellow fin. Yellow fin! Woohoo! Awesome. Smash the popper. Surf them up next to your kayak and grab their tail. Oh. Beautiful little yellowfin tuna. The only place that I've ever caught yellowfin tuna on the popper before out of kayaks is in Panama. And when I was down there, we had so much fun with uh, Pascal and the team from Panama Kayak Adventures. We went out there and same thing, we were casting poppers and schoolie sized yellowfin, which are perfect fun to catch off of the kayak. We're slamming the poppers and here we are in Mag Bay. I'm getting to have that experience again. This time though, with my good friend, Mark Mills and Robin Another Doug, all of us, the four of us are casting poppers, hooking up left and right, getting towed around. It was mayhem. You know, we had a little bit of bumpy weather out there, but the fishing was so good that once again, I forgot to eat. It's because as soon as I'd land a fish, I just want to catch another one. Coming up, the Hobie Mag Bay Adventure Series continues on the Thetis Bank of Magdalena Bay, an incredible offshore fishery visited by anglers from all over the world. <laughs> Welcome back to Hobie Outdoor Adventures. Magdalena Bay is protected by five barrier islands, spanning some 131 miles, with most of its shore lined with mangroves. This is the largest bay on the west coast of the peninsula. Oh, I'm on. That didn't take oh, long. Oh, oh. <laughs> Get it? Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> this, oh, came loose. There you go, Mark. Little tuna. Well, that's my first yellow fin. First elephant ever off the kayak? Off in a kayak. Not a big one, but my first one. Got him? The exciting thing about throwing poppers like this is, like you said, you don't know what's going to come up and slam it, you know? No, you don't. You could have a wahoo come at freaking 60 miles an hour and jump on it at five feet. That would be epic. Get out of here. Oh, it might be yellowfin. Another yellowfin, huh? Another yellowfin. Woo! Yeah, this is so on. Let go! Dude, chill out, please. Okay, another one. Popper. Oh, boom. Skipjack? Yeah, another skipjack. A yippee for Skippy. Once you find the fish, it doesn't take long to get a bite. <laughs> Yoo hoo! My arms are getting tired, but I can't stop. Got my Mirage Drive in reverse. Just because. This one's fighting a lot harder. It's a yellow fin. Nice. Yoo hoo. I think we've got out of the skipjack and it moved into yellowfin territory. Nice little yellow fin. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope. You stay away, seal. Son 
have a gun. Another beautiful yellowfin tuna on the Daiwa Saltiga popper. Sea line grabbed him right on his head right there. I don't know if you can see that mark, but I wrestled him away from, from the sea line. Now he's gonna be our sashimi instead of the sea lines. Nice job, Rob. Whoa. On the fall. I think a tuna ate my wahoo jig. Yep, another skippy, strong one. I will catch skipjack and yellowfin tuna all day long. Look at that. Oh, got one, got one, got one. Feels like the right kind. This is a big fish. Come on, come on, hit the wahoo jig. Feels like a yellowtail actually. Ooh, smoke the raider. Few cranks up the bottom. Oh, just trying to turn its head to keep it out of the rocks here. Oh. Yellowtail! Yeah! How cool is that? Look at that. That's my first one of the trip. Hammered that Raider jig, fishing for Wahoo here on the high spot. But I'll catch beautiful yellowtail like this all day long. Let's get that hook out and get this fish on its way. Hobie Outdoor Adventures will be right back after these messages. Hobie Outdoor Adventures has been brought to you by Lorance. Find, navigate, dominate. Hobie Eyewear. See life easy. And by Railblazer. Hold everything with Railblazer. It was on the bottom. Oh, it's a big yellow tail. It was really cool to watch Mark just catch fish after fish. He caught his first marlin out of the kayak. He caught his first yellowtail, first yellowfin tuna. And to be there to experience and share in that moment with a good friend like Mark, see that big smile on his face and to see that light switch turn on. I think he may have forgotten how much fun it is catching big fish out of kayaks. Nice yellowtail on the jigging setup. Real light setup, got it right off the bottom. Been wanting a nice yellow on this trip, so we got one. Another a great adventure under my belt, and I hope to be doing this for a lot more years. Uh, I was certainly the eldest angler on the trip. Eldest, but not elderly. Uh, that's my incentive to stay, to stay in good shape, which I try to do, because I want to be able to keep kayak fishing. I can hardly find a better incentive than that. I don't know as nearly as much as any of these guys about fishing, but the one thing that I've recognized that they do is they just never give up. There's always, you know, they're ready to switch gears and target something else, or they're always trying to figure out what that condition is, you know, if it's tidal or if it's time of day or water temperature or what they can do to manipulate and just try to figure out when the fish are gonna start biting again. You know, whatever is gonna be the most efficient way to target species and have fun and catch tons of fish. To catch one to fish bag bay, check that box off. Two to fish mangroves, check that box off. Three to catch corvina, check that box off. Four, oh my gosh. It's like, I want to catch a marlin. I caught marlin, not a marlin. I caught plenty of marlin. I got my fix to go out there on a kayak, extreme style, and catch yellowfin tuna and big yellowtail it was a really great experience to me. It's just a great trip. I highly recommend it. I've been kayak fishing for over 20 years and I've been lucky enough to fish some incredible fisheries all over this planet. And I've got to say that Magdalena Bay has to be in the top three, if not the best fishery that I've ever been to for diversity, fish species. So I highly recommend it. If you enjoy kayak fishing, you have to get down here to Mag Bay and experience what this place has to offer. You know, we're getting towards the end of the day, the weather's coming up, my last chance. The, the captains yelled to us and they go, you guys have five more minutes to fish. I dropped down in about five 
cranks up, I just get slammed. Oh yeah, that's the right kind. That's the right kind. Stay out of the rocks, buddy. Okay, that's what we're hoping for on a nice yellowtail here. Oh no, sea lion's got it. Oh no. Ugh. No choice but to eat this guy. And I love eating yellowtail anyways, but that was a battle with the sea lion. I think with that, we're gonna call it a day here. It's been an amazing trip. Mark and I have scored beyond our hopes here at Mag Bay to finish it off with a nice yellowtail like this. For dinner, I'll take it. Special thanks to Daiwa for providing all the fishing gear used in this incredible fishing trip and Mag Bay Lodge for providing top-notch service and excellent fishing every day. Go to magbaylodge.com and book a once-in-a-lifetime fishing trip or call them to customize the trip of your dreams. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week on Hobie Outdoor Adventures.